Next one will be the path to the root of our site. Uh, root path. Okay, if we copy this, define, define, paste it under, we'll call this constant root path. And what we're going to do here, we're going to use function real path. And inside of this function, we'll use directory and dear name. And we'll use file constant which is basically recognizing the path is providing us the path to this specific file with, from within which this constant is called, which is basically our config.php. So we have already the entire path to our config.php, then dot ds, which is our directory separator, double quotes, two dots to go up one level, and ds right at the end. So basically, if we are inside of the ink folder as we are at the moment, obviously this file is inside of the ink folder, we want to get out of this file so we get to our e-commerce or whatever else you you called your uh, the, the directory for, your, for, your, for, for the root of your site. So this is how we're gonna get to the root of our site. So root path now, again, dynamically uh, provides us with the path to our root folder. Next will be classes folder. This is where we're going to store all of our classes. By classes, I mean objects, obviously, but you will find out about this a little bit later on. So classes, dir for directory, and it will use, uh, and it will simply be the name of the directory, which is classes. As you can see, we have this directory here. Next one, if we copy the entire thing, will be uh, modules folder. And will be mod dir. Can and it will be mod, which we'll create a little bit later on. Another one, which will be called IN, uh, INC, actually, basically, it's our includes folder. So it's INC, and it's INC, the file, the folder within which this config and outer load is. And obviously, it's INC folder. Then we have our templates folder as well. So copy this. Obviously, template there, and it's going to be simply template. Then we have emails path. It's not going to be a folder, it will be a uh, path. So, email path another folder which will be called emails but because it's a path we will also include the root before that so we go to the root then ds directory separator and then our folder then after emails we have path to our catalog images catalog images path so it will be called catalog path and this one will be media then after this directory separator and catalog okay that's enough for now. We go to the next video and we'll, we'll find out how to actually all add all these uh, paths to the include paths that we can actually include all these files whenever necessary from within these folders 
automatically without calling the path just the file name. 